Hi, I'm Morten Nissen from the WASP team, and uh, now I will talk about how to generate input data for FUGA. And this is done by WASP. You uh, set up a, a project in WASP with um, turbine sites, and uh, then the idea is that you have some wind atlas, and then you can predict what is the wind conditions at each turbine site. And uh, a turbine site, you can see here, if I open it, then it has a position and a hop height, and then this is the predicted wind climate, which is given as vibral distributions for in different sectors, and then you have the frequency of uh, the occurrence of winds from that sector. And um, then also a, a, a wind farm has a, a turbine generator type, and that's in this file you have um, the the power curve and the thrust coefficient curve. And also I should say that if you want to model the the wake effect from one farm to another in in inside Fuga, then it's practical to organize all the wind farms in a cluster, which is a group with and then you have these nested groups inside it. Um, and then you can save it on a file, and then you work with it in, in Fuga. But before you do the, this, then, uh, it's important to check that all these calculations are valid. For instance, I can show you here that if I go uh, to this turbine site here, and if I have changed something, now I've changed it, then there's this little warning sign, and this uh, means that the 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 results are, are not complete anymore. And uh, to work with it in Fuga, then I must, of course, make sure that this is not the case. So I should go in here. I can click the whole project, right-click on it, and then say, do all feasible calculations. And then I'm ready to work with it in, in Fuga. Then um, I should also say here that in, in Fuga, um, then uh, you can uh, click on different groups. Now I'm just working with this wind farm here, because when I've here, they have this extra convention here that when I click on something, then I can select it. This wind farm here, then this is shown with bold, and if I click here, then I have uh, the entire uh, cluster, and then I can select a site here. This will be my reference site when, for instance, when I define the wind speeds, then that will be the winds seen from, from this side here and, and the height of that turbine. And then also I can select uh, this wind turbine generator and then if I want to study the wake behind just one turbine, then uh, it's important to tell Fuga which uh, turbine it is that I'm going to work with. 